We just need to find stuff to repair the nest now. We just need to? You block, I'll hit. Okay. Oh, Blute, eat that. Nice one. No way. Ooh. Ha <laughs> ha! Meet my boyfriend. Dodge this one. Nice shot. We may need to change our strategy. It's useless. Let's try something else. Are you all right? Oh, come on! One left. Blue, blue, blue. Whammo! Oh. Yeah! Why? Booyah! Oh, come on! Oh. Ow! Make way! This one's ready. I'm on it. It's right for the picking. Harvest time! Yes! Sorry, I'm kind of struggling. I should have drifted a little. Another bit of rust for your collection? Oh, cool. I don't have this one yet. Have enough? We never have enough. Uh, are we eating soon? Are you already hungry? I'm just looking ahead.
another thing from home. How many do you think Axanova built before they realized it wouldn't work? Two already seems like a lot. Throwing money around isn't exactly within the company culture. Neither is canceling a project for that matter. I'm not surprised that everyone remained discreet about this whole failed colonization business. I am surprised by the fact my mom has never mentioned it to me. I don't think Exanova wins colonization contracts on the regular. These buildings look kind of old. Your mom may not have been head of the company then. She may not have been with the company at all. Yeah, that's possible. Still, it's weird. Agreed. I guess we'll figure it out eventually. Another one. This aerial threat is just too fragile. Zip into the back. See what I'm seeing? What? It's straight ahead. An aerial flow thread. Oh, yeah. Do you think it could carry us all the way up there? Only one way to find out. much nicer this way. Dodge this one! You go! Eat that! Now what? I'll keep them at bay. Are you all right? Bam! Booyah! What's gonna do? Got this? You better. I'm feeling so good. Great job. You're welcome. Target luck. Eat it. You're you started it. Go, go, K. I got your back. Sweet. 
See you around. One left. Oh, oh Bloot. This one's mine. Boom. Make way. You? Yep. Saw that. Right for the picking. Harvest time. That's how we rock. You... are you okay? Ugh. You know, I am starting to get tired of being beat up by every critter that comes around. Should I carry you? No, that's fine. I can walk on my own. Although if you have some heavy-duty pain meds, I, I wouldn't turn them down. Alright. I guess it's time for me to do what I do best. Snuggle? I was more thinking about gathering strange plants with medicinal properties. We already have some medic kits. Oh yeah, we do. Then I guess we just need to find a place to lay low and care for your injuries. Seems like that's the highest we'll get. That wasn't too far off. Look, there's another bridge over there. Ugh, but I wanted to go all the way up. We'll have to lay off the apple dews then. Okay, I'm sorry to say it. I can't go any further without eating something. Same here. We need to take a food break. Did we miss, or did it break? It broke. Can we go back the other way? As you wish. We lost him. Still no. We're not going higher with these boots on. Do we agree this thing does not look very natural? Yeah. It's probably satellite debris? Or a rocket propeller? This part of space is a real dump. I don't know. This stone circle around it still looks weird to me. This? These aren't stones. They're Briam's Mollus Molus. Bloofs, for short. Bloofs? Yeah, because when you sit on them, it goes... <laughs> I like. <sighs> oh. Huh. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> 
I think I could fall asleep right here. You? Uh... You? <gasps> Who? What? I told you I'm not going back. Go bloot yourselves! You. It's me. I think you fell asleep. Oh, sorry. These bloofs are way too comfortable. You can't leave me here. <laughs> if we ever need to sleep under the stars, we'll know where to come. <sighs> if that doesn't get us back to full form, I'd... Not sure about you. You know what we should have packed? Marshmallows? My guitar! You... have a guitar? Well, yeah. Where is it? At my house. On top. Well, I guess these days I can't really call it my house. Or even say it's my guitar. I didn't know that you played. To be honest, I wouldn't really say that I play. My mother's had me take courses when I was little. I took him for two years, and then I got tired. I never touched it again. I even called it an old-timey instrument. <laughs> but, I don't know. Now, with the campfire and everything... Hmm, I wish I could pull it out. Oh, I would have played along on the harmonica. <gasps> because you play the harmonica? No. But since we're imagining things, let's just run with it. Yeah, you're right. I can already picture it. We could have founded a band. The number one band on Source. You and K Trio. <laughs> How is it a trio? <laughs> Give people something to talk about. <laughs> Very good. I was thinking more along the lines of... The Flow Phantasm. Very poetic. Isn't it? Why not? The Weavers. <gasps> Ooh, not bad. Flowers. Acrocillin Blues. Where the heart is. A mare. <gasps> Space caress. Oh, yeah, I definitely like that. We are so space caress now. We'll bring the house down. We just need to find stuff to repair the nest now. We just need to? Oh, did you feel that? What? Like a tremor. No, I wasn't paying attention. I hope I imagined it. for drifting. It makes faster turns. Sorry. I'm still not completely used to this model.
Watch out. I'm not sure our boots will fare too well in the water. Oh, could they get damaged? No way. They're waterproof. But you won't exactly grip the track underwater. Should we take a break? Indeed. <sighs> if you told me one day I'd be millions of lumsec from the apiary watching rocks flying by. Beautiful, isn't it? I'd say intriguing. I'm trying to figure out how it works. I'm pretty sure you don't know how nucleosynthesis works either. But you can still appreciate the stars in the sky. That's true. <sighs> it could be worse. Yeah. Actually, this is all thanks to the matchmaker. What? Think about it. Imagine the matchmaker had put us together. We would have spent our boring lives in the apiary without surprise. And we would have never ended up here. Together. Watching rocks flying by. This is no joking matter. For all we know, the apiary is hot on our trail right now. If they find us, and they bring us back, we'll see how much you want to thank the matchmaker. That was just a turn of phrase. Not a good one. Uh... All right, come on. Let's go. Are you okay? Enjoying the view? Definitely. <laughs> this one smells weird. Chuck it then. Are you insane? Did you see that thing eat up a flow thread? Sure did. That's probably why these creatures don't seem affected by the rust. Good for them. But I hope they're sparing some for others. Us, namely. I feel like she's avoiding us. Don't turn around. Shot. I'll keep you back. Ah! You Bullseye. Eat that. Your turn. Yep. Uh. Make way. You? Yep. 
Done and done. Boom, baby! Are you okay? Now what? There you go. One to go. Blammo! I don't like this. You start uh. is right, you? Yep, saw that. Done and done. I'm not sure what his toy did to him, but I wouldn't like to be in its place. Hold on. Isn't that... What? Let's get a closer look. Doesn't sound like a good idea. Okay. It would seem that he's not gonna share his toy. What did I tell you? He's too impervious. We should coordinate our games. Chill. Missed. All right. Same attack on three. Three. I think we found the right technique. On your mark. Oh, take that. He's too impervious. We should coordinate our attacks. Three, two, one. Go, go, go! Ha! I'm sure he felt that. Same attack, same time. All right. Same attack on three. Three! You want some more? On your mark? Anytime. when you are. Ready. Awesome. Your mark. Now. Booyah. All set. Now. You know what to do. I got this. Let's get it over with. And done. Who's next? Yes. He left his toy behind. That's not a toy. Looks like... A robot? Almost. It's a Draca. Drone for autonomous cartography. Very old tech. The kind we sent out to beauty before it was integrated to the apiary. Oh. Seems like they pondered integrating Source for a while as well. I wonder why they changed their minds. It could be the fact that this planet is scattered like a puzzle. Probably was a factor. The Draca may hold some answers. You're kidding. No, really. Stuff from that era was built tough. We may be able to boot it back up. Hmm. Mm. Okay. I might have spoken a bit quickly. The flow circuits are completely fried. But... But, 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 but look at what I was able to salvage. The anti-grab chips don't seem to be damaged. I should be able to make them compatible with our boots by tweaking the connectors a bit. Whoa. Even better, the mapping module is also working perfectly. If I plug that into the glove's power source, 
It should... Boom! This should be very helpful for finding our way around the bits of land. <laughs> you never cease to impress me. Ah, uh, that's nothing, really. These old machines are plain and simple astronautical engineering. Not like the new stuff with boronic nano components everywhere. So, that way we can map out the different bits? Yeah, and with this, we can make our way back to the nest a lot easier. Hey, look! It says there's another bridge in this area. Perfect. That way we can test if your thingy works. Just trying to take a closer look at you. alone? We 
We're too quick for them. Are you sure they canceled the colonization? Because we've come across a lot of infrastructure at this point. I'm just telling you what I read in the archives. Could it be that the archives are lying? Hmm. Uh, of course they could be. Slow. Come on, this is not the time to get off. Surprised? Hmm. Huh. This is weird. What is? It looks like there's also a pre-recorded location on the radar. Hmm. What could it be? I don't know. Little Draco's favorite picnic spot? In that case, we definitely have to check it out. Oink. That is definitely him. That's Oink. What's happening, big guy? Why are you here? You missed us, didn't you? I bet he felt lonely on his empty eyelid. You do realize that we can't take you along on our journeys, don't you? That would be too exhausting for you. But you can stay with us next to the nest if you want. <laughs> no funny business, though. Come on, give me your boots. Once I plug in these chips, they'll be like a whole new pair. I can barely figure out left and right as they are.
So, what's this rocky chunk got to say? Well, for starters, it says it's not a rock. Really? What is it then? Some kind of metal? No. It's not mineral or organic. So, what is it? <laughs> Going straight to the hard questions. But that is not how science works. How does it work then? First of all, you formulate a hypothesis. Then you build an experiment to test this hypothesis. You observe, and you learn. Okay, then what have you learned? That I'm lacking imagination regarding hypotheses? One thing we know for sure is that rust particles scatter immediately when in contact with flow. I'd like to observe this reaction more closely. You can do that next time. Right now, you should go to bed. Already? What time is it? No idea. But I know I'm sleepy. And I want my snuggles before I crash. <laughs> gotcha. All right, give me those medical plants of yours. Time to fire up the synthesizer. With this thing, we'll be right back on our feet. Are you sure you know how? I have a synthesizer in my ship. Of course I know how these work. Uh, no, wait, that's not the way. I know what I'm doing. Really? Because at this stage, you should... Ugh, look, I've always done it this way, and it's always worked out. You're not gonna tell me how to use my own synthesizer. All right. All right, as you wish. I didn't know you could also do it that way. And? Sorry I doubted you. And? Uh, I love you? Okay, that's not what I was expecting, but it'll do. I need a break. Huh? Are you okay? I've never seen you shy away from finishing a plate. Bit hyperbolic. Ah, uh, it tastes bad, doesn't it? No, it's really good. It's just, when you said you were making a salad, I wasn't expecting this. This is actually really, really fatty. Well, of course there's boba nut in it. There's gotta be a way to soak up a bit of the fat, you know? Maybe if I pan-fried them, then drain them in an ice bath with some cheesecloth, that would remove the excess fat, but preserve the texture of the nuts. There you go. Sounds great. I'll try that now. Uh, okay. You can try that for next time, because I'm really not hungry right now. Huh. Okay. Next time. <sighs> so, want to do anything? I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Want to go outside? Do you? Eh, thought so. We could play a game. Uh, 
I don't really feel like it right now. Hmm. <laughs> Too bad there's nothing we can watch. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> All right, let's get to it. Come on. Get up. Get moving. Go, go, go. <sighs> hmm. You didn't get up. Neither did you. I think I'll need another minute. Take your time. All right. You can open your eyes. Surprise anniversary. Huh? I meant to say surprise, and then I thought, happy anniversary. I panicked. Whose anniversary is it? It's our anniversary. One month on Source. Already? Yeah. I mean, give or take a few days. It went by fast. Yeah. Remember the time we almost died crashing on this planet? And the time we almost died in an earthquake? Ah, and the time we almost died fighting that critter? I hope this is only the beginning and that I'll have many more chances to almost die with you. Aren't you a charmer? So, are you gonna open your present? Well, our present. Sure, sure. Uh-huh, but what is it? Fermented apple dews. I stuck them in the soaker tub to accelerate the process. I'm calling it apple brew. Hmm, do you think that it's any good? Well, worst case scenario, we just wasted some apple juice. No big deal. Should we open it now? We can open it whenever you want. <laughs> 